Good morning, oil traders. It is Newsday. It's Wednesday, September 27th at 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we're just a little over an hour away from markets open here on the East Coast of North America. And it's Newsday. We've got, we had API news yesterday after the close, um, after the close for us at 4.30 p.m. And we've got EIA inventory news for crude, gasoline, et cetera, et cetera, uh, today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. So what did API say? API said that we're going to get a uh, draw. Um, yeah, so not only is it a draw, but it contradicts what EIA expectations are, which is a build. Um, so if that actually pans out, um, it could be quite bullish. Um, but as you can see, uh, the action is indecisive um, and right now we're basically where we are pre API news yesterday um, before or at our closing here on the East Coast um, so which direction we ultimately take is anyone's guess as per usual um, as you can see here we did a jump from about 5188 to a high of 5217 on the API news kind of itself um, we tried to climb higher. We didn't make any new highs, but we came close. Um, and uh, basically following, what is it, Asia's closing, um, we have been drifting down the whole morning. Um, which brings us back to where we started, basically. So it's, it's anyone's game, and we've seen this happen many times before. API says one thing, EI says, says another, and the direction can be either way regardless of what the news actually says. So basically my, uh, my approach today is going to be to stick to my game plan um, and uh, my targets are going to remain unchanged. And if by some miracle we actually move ahead of news, then I'm just going to execute my plans um, accordingly, um, regardless of what the news actually is, because hey, what do I know? Um, and uh, following the news basically is just wait and see. Um, it's going to be volatile for the first half hour to an hour for sure. Um, will that allow me to do anything? Um, we'll see. Um, I really don't know what to expect. Um, obviously, you guys can probably tell in my voice I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, yeah, it's. I'm hoping that we finally turn around and that uh, the mid-52s are our top, at least for now. I'd like to be able to exit some of my shorts and get into a, uh, a better priced long position um, if we are to go higher to hedge some of my short positions. Um, but we'll see how the day plans out. How are you guys feeling about the news coming today? Um, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on our portfolio, trades, charts, etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and ahead of closing or at around closing, 4 p.m. Eastern time here. And uh, good luck. Cheers.